Kim Whitley. Let me tell you, this is, my, this is one of my best friends in the whole wide world. We've been friends for 30 years, Kim Whitley and I. And we have a podcast called Two Funny Mamas, and we went on the road. We did three dates on the road doing stand-up. We were in New Jersey on Friday, then we went to Pennsylvania on, on Saturday, and then Wilmington, Delaware last night. And I want to tell you, and we packed out, we sold out the clubs, and the, the theaters, actually, not in the clubs, the theaters. So I do want to say to everybody, thank you for purchasing those tickets and coming. But I want to tell you, we get on stage together, and we can do 95 minutes of just unscripted talking together. And it is funny, and it's like this vaudeville act, and we weave in and out of stand-up and podcasts and Q&A, and we just do stuff off the cuff, because we, we've known each other for so long, and I got such chemistry. But we are, I found out going on the road with Kim that we're very different people. We're both funny, but we're very different people. Now, I don't mind spending a little bit to feel good, but Kim is very frugal, i.e. cheap as hell. <laughs> cheap. Like, and I, I'm not a road comic, so when I go on the road, I want to make it fun. I rented this luxurious Sprinter van for everybody. That, I, it was beautiful. But Kim didn't want to spend the money. She stood in line at the rental car company for that tiny little car that she had. She had this little car for her and her assistant, and she refused to ride, because she was like, it's too much. I'm not spending the money, even though we were going half. So they took, <laughs> so, but because she was in this little car and the Sprinter goes fast, in different cities, she was screaming, wait up, we following you. <laughs> and so, you, you know, so we gotta wait for Kim, and Kim, when she drives, she's one of these like, oh, 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 you're going too fast. <laughs> no, we doing the speed limit, Kim. No, it's too fast. And so she sent her assistant to the grocery store. Now, in our contract, they provide so much food for us. And she sent her assistant to Walmart <laughs> to buy everything. <laughs> Everything. Like, the car is full of apples and bananas and grapes and lettuce. And I said, Kim, you act like we're going on a 20-city tour. We only gonna be here Friday and Saturday. We're coming home Sunday. <laughs> so we had the same food, and then she took the food from the venue with her own food. And I said, what are you gonna do, sit up there butt naked on the bed and eat all of this? <laughs> It was so many groceries in the trunk. There was no room in the car for anything. Kim is just like, she's hoarding everything. <laughs> so then she gets mad once she sees the Sprinter. She gets mad she wants to drive in the Sprinter with us, but there's not enough room. So she pulls my Emmy-nominated glam team off the bus <laughs> and makes them drive in the little car. She tells them. They got to drive because she wanted to be in the Sprinter. And then I, she said, well, I want to bond with you. We've known each other for 30 years. <laughs> what is... And she said, that's not the point. So she gets on the Sprinter. They got to drive the little car without no room in there, suitcases and groceries. We get on the Sprinter and she goes to sleep with her mouth over the whole, <laughs> the whole time. But we, we, I just want to say, so, you know, I'm over here, I, we're just different. I love to dance, so I'm twerking, and Kim is just standing there. She just, she <laughs> I love to dance. She don't want to dance. Look, Kim don't want to dance. <laughs> she is such a... <laughs> Such an auntie, but when I tell you we had so much fun and I cannot wait to get back on the road with her. So June 2nd and June 3rd, we are in Colleen, Texas. Just go to SherryShowTV.com to get the tickets. Thank you, Kim. I love you. And thank you for buying those tickets. Mm -hmm.